Did you get all into all of that? Can you see the shoe? Pandemic is not gonna stop this drip, honey. COVID is not gonna stop this drip. Bah. What's going on, y'all? It's Taraji, and today I'm sharing my must-haves when it comes to style, beauty, and fashion. This is the drip, honey. Okay, so here's the thing. This is the BET Awards, okay? So every time you show up, your style, your beauty, and your fashion game must be on point, okay? So let's just check out some of my past looks. Some good, some, we'll see. Oh, honey, this look made me feel incredible because that body was snatched. I felt like Jada, remember that year Jada Pinkett Smith came out and she had on that, um, those little shorts that looked like bikini bottoms and it was high waisted. Honey, talk about inspiration. So I had to work out really hard because I wanted a Jada Pinkett Smith moment at the BT Awards. I got clowned for this a little bit because somebody on Instagram put up a cracked iPhone and they compared it to me. Meet me outside. Meet me outside. That look was fire. You're a hater. I just remember being grateful to be honored in winning an award. Um, I mean, it's always great to win an award. That means you're doing something right. When I get dressed for anything, carpet, award shows, it's all about comfort for me. I felt the look hit the mark um, because I was serving body, honey, body, body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. <laughs> I just remember feeling like a superstar because this was shortly after Hustle and Flow. And we were in New York doing press. May John Singleton rest in peace. And we needed to get back to from New York to LA with the swiftness. So they put us on a private jet. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was like, I made it, mama. I made it. I had no money. I could not afford a stylist. I could not afford pretty much anything. Thank God it was pressed because the production studio took care of glam. But in New York, they gave me this dress and I was like, I'm wearing to the BET Awards. And I just thought it was fitting. I mean, it's the BET Awards, it's edgy, it's the culture, it was graffiti. I thought it worked. Oh, I love this dress. I, you know, that's the thing about the BET Awards. You can be edgy, you can be classic Hollywood glam. And I felt like this was one of those moments. And I just felt incredible in that gown. It definitely hit the mark because I think I hit every mark in all the best dress lists that year. When it comes to award shows, appearances, red carpets, everyday life, there are a few things that I must have. When I'm leaving for the day, if I'm going out and you know it's lunch and I'm cute, I always have my oil blotters. War shows are longer. You keep applying powder, you're gonna look cracked, honey. That face is gonna look cracked and ashy. I always have a, a lip, whatever lip I chose that day, it's in the bag. I always have a lip. I can book, I can. This is Rihanna Fenty. I will pump her all day. <laughs> Let me tell you, I pull her out and she matches everything. She's everything. Gotta have this. I always have, depending on which wig I'm wearing, the comb or the brush that that wig may need, honey. Um, and I have brushes and combs and miniature size to fit in bags like this. <laughs> and I always, if I'm going like all day, I always have a moisturizer, like a lip therapy, I like to call it, because sometimes, honey, I don't want to reapply that lip. Sometimes it's time to be natural. Um, and I will always have a small version of whatever scent I put on. Yes, I'm that girl. I am that girl. Mm -hmm. I always have a snack, because I am the girl who will turn in the incredible, I will turn into the incredible home. I get punchy and bitey when I'm hungry, so I, I gotta have a snack. If I'm wearing lashes, you know I will tuck some lash glue. I will have some lash glue. They make these new lash glue stick, like eyeliner. Oh, honey, I have about 10 of them. 
because I have very watery eyes. <laughs> Look, like they're sensitive. And if the sun and them get the water and that lash will pop up, and honey, I just go in there with that little liner. Oh, she's back at it. <laughs> she's back in the mix. <laughs> My team knows how to get me all the way together, honey. Past and present. Now, you already know I'm about to shut down the BET Awards 2021, right? <laughs> now, without giving away too much, I'll give you my gotta haves for the night. My glam squad on standby right next to me. <laughs> um, Probably whatever scent I'm wearing, because you gotta stay smelling pretty. Oh, that's a long day and night. Oh, and some snacks. Could I say snacks? I always have a slipper, a flippity flop, a comfort shoe. My Jason knows that. He knows that if he shows up without those comfort shoes, for him. <laughs> I get bitey. When my feet start barking, I start barking. <laughs> And it's like, oh, 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 it's time to feed her. It's, oh, oh, do your feet wear the slippers, wear the flip flops. Like that. Just punchy and arr, arr, arr. Yes, no, arr. Okay, so now that we've spent a little time together and you know all of my must haves, know that it's going to be one fly night at the BET Awards 2021 red carpet and stage. I'm Taraji P. Henson, and you got my drip. Ha, ha, ha.